NASA's Dryden Flight Research Center recently completed a study at Edwards Air Force Base in Southern California designed to gauge public attitudes towards sonic booms. Rolling in three, two, one, now. Copy, Mark. The Waveforms and Sonic Boom Perception and Response Project gathered data from more than 100 volunteer Edwards residents about their reactions to low noise booms created by NASA FA-18 test aircraft. With Whisper, we're trying to get a readback from the people on the ground to some kind of annoyance level. How annoying was this low boom? How annoying was this more moderate uh, boom? NASA and industry are working on technology that will reduce the noise and annoyance associated with sonic booms so they won't disturb the peace. Aviation and governmental authorities may then consider lifting current prohibitions on aircraft flying over land at supersonic speeds. Uh, currently we're limited by overland sonic booms. There's no regulation stipulating what kind of sonic booms can be projected over land. Right now the rule is no sonic booms over land. Data from the recent study will be a valuable guide for future public perception studies in communities that normally don't experience sonic booms. People here at the Edwards Air Force Base, they're obviously very familiar with sonic booms. Eventually we want to take this to a broader level where people that's never heard of sonic boom. So first we need to figure out how to do that. The research was sponsored by the Supersonics Project and NASA's Aeronautics Research Mission Directorate's Fundamental Aeronautics Program.